making fried cabbage Liberian style. So let me show you my ingredients. These are my ingredients right here. That's the cabbage. That's some turkey. And I have my beef broth boiling on the stove top that I'm gonna be using as my liquid today. So let's do this, y'all, let's do this. I show sure by now anybody who has been following this channel will realize that uh, these are my staple seasoning. I love dry spices, they're easy to work with. And I get these from Aldi and Costco. Yeah, these are my staple, yo. So I'm just gonna season out my chicken and I'm gonna mix it well. There's no marinating, there's no sitting to marinate, just gonna steam fry it on the stove top. I call it steam fry because I put it in the oil and I cover it up and let it sit there and fry. Just to get it slightly brown on the outside and have it cooked from the steam on the inside. So that's how I do it, guys. That's how I do it. <laughs> Guys, I lost my whole footage for when I was putting the chicken in the oven. And I actually thought I was, I don't know if I recorded it or I didn't press record, but I couldn't find it. So I just decided to show you how I do my oil. But it's basically just putting chicken in oil. Anybody can do that. <laughs> okay, guys. This is what I call my steam fried method right here. Steam cook the chicken on the inside. They always fry the chicken on the outside. And that's how I do it. And that chicken be tasting good, y'all. The oil get infused with all the seasoning, all the flavor from the chicken. And you just use that to fry your, ca your, your cabbage. I was gonna say collard green. Just fry your cabbage. And that's how I do it. Flip it over, cover it up a couple of more minutes, and just take it off. I'm also going to be making some quinoa today, about two and a half cups of quinoa. I'm just going to put it in my rice cooker, wash it very well with a lot of water, and then put it on the rice cooker and so it just cook. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to add two to three um, scoops of chai to that. And that's how I make my grains. That's what I'm going to be having my cabbage with today. Very delicious. If you guys want to try that? Let me know in the comment below if you try this. Let me know what you think. I appreciate that. Chicken's looking good. I'm just going to be taking it out of the oil. And I'm gonna use that same oil to fry up my cabbage.
So guys, this is how my cabbage is looking like right now. I'm just going to be adding two Maggi cubes to that and I'm going to cover it up and let it steam fry and probably for like 10 minutes. Once it starts to fry completely, I'm just going to uh, put my stove on medium high and let it cook through. And then I will little add the rest of my ingredients to that pot. But you guys gonna see how it look in a minute. Thanks to everyone who subscribed and continue to follow my channel, continue to support me. I appreciate you guys and God bless you. And thanks to all the new subscribers that are gonna be coming along for this ride. Thank you guys, I appreciate you. I'm just going to color it back up for a few more minutes as I check on my quinoa because I need to add the char to it. I just do it this way because char usually gets slippery if it stays too long in the water. So I realize this keep that from happening. So I don't like it being slippery. You know, you can also use char as egg substitute for vegan meals. My cabbage is looking good. 
I'm all ready to add the rest of my ingredients. Yes, yo, that cabbage is fried and ready for the rest of the ingredients. I'm just going to add the rest of the ingredients and I'm going to use the beef broth as my liquid. But I'm going to add less than a cup of water to that. And I'm going to add two more mighty cubes. And just taste it for seasoning. And if I need to add more, I'm just going to add more. You know, nothing is always precise. Not unless you're baking. <laughs> when cooking, you always have to give it a taste and decide if you need to add more. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Well, anyway, guys, let's do this. Let's do this. I love cooking. I love cooking. Been cooking since I was a little girl. Look at that beef broth. Juicy. Look at it. Mm. Yes, you know. Anyway, keep watching. The finished product will be here soon. Once the um, cabbage comes to a boil like that, you just want to lower your heat to medium or low heat. Because you don't want it to be too, you don't want it to burn, pretty much that's why it is. And that right there was just some cayenne pepper and some Italian seasoning that I'm adding to the pot. Because I realized it needed a bit more seasoning. And I'm also going to add some pink Himalayan sea salt. Add a little bit. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Quinoa is looking good, soft to the touch, but it's going to get a bit harder when it cools down.
finished product. Cabbage is all done, ready to go. I'm going to be having it on my quinoa. Try this recipe, y'all, uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks everyone for watching and God bless you. Please do come again next time. Support my channel, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So whenever I post a video, you can be notified. And also just share, share the content. Help me expand my channel. Thank you guys. God bless you once again. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Till next time.